Welcome back to the channel. What I have for you today is the trial. But first, before we get into that, I forgot something yesterday. I didn't realize it'd be out yet, but go to My Horizon and then go to Message Center. Under Gifts, we have the Luka Doncic Jordan brand 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Forza Edition. So let's go ahead and get that. Took me all day to, you know, record, edit, and finally get the uh, video for yesterday out. So in all that, I forgot. So let's go to cars and change car. Where would it be? Chevrolet? Is it just going to be that easy? Yep, there it is. Oh my gosh. And it's only A800? That's crazy. Of course, you can do whatever you want to it, but I love Orza Editions. All right, let's have a look at this thing. Okay, so absolutely wild that the white letter tires say jordan that is so cool of course on the windshield same thing nice wide body looks like a three-piece wheel you know if you look at the shoe this is supposed to mirror or mimic uh, a lot of the design style you know whatever the swoop on the side the pattern on the front the colors all that the back louvers here on the the back glass all of that ties in with the shoe, but did you know that Forza made this? This is not a real car. They just <laughs> made it as a random collab with a shoe company for this game. I'll take it. I think it's awesome. Jordan logo on the back. Absolutely crazy. LS power plant up front. It drifts right out of the box like crazy. This is gonna make a great drift car. Uh, it's nuts looks so cool it's so much fun but i just want to make sure you guys knew that 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 is on deck and ready to go go to your my horizon go to message center under gifts everybody gets this car you don't even have to complete a challenge it's just marketing now let's jump into the trial country uk b700 so let's go ahead and take a peek at what we can use so we're going to hit y and we're just going to go to b700 and then we're going to hit x and sort by country once we get to UK, there you go. So this is what we can use. Now it is a dirt race for this trial. So I'm going to have to really take that into consideration here when picking. I really don't have anything. This kind of sucks. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Of these right here in a pinch, I think I would have to use the F pace. Now moving on. Can anything beat the F pace? Oh my gosh. No, not that many. That many has no traction and on dirt it would be absolutely terrible. Okay. The Peel Trident, absolutely not. The Napier Railton, whatever that thing is, is too low on the performance index. The Mini doesn't have tires. This Mini. This one does, but it's in the rear-wheel drive. So I think, weirdly enough, it is between this Vauxhall Corsa VXR with the Turbo Rally all-wheel drive and this Mini X-Raid. Meanwhile, I'm just going to go crazy in this Jordan Camaro Luka Doncic shoe car. Even the interior... Like, they made custom race seats that look like the pattern on the front to match the shoes or whatever. Welcome to Secret Service. Ugh. Anyway, uh, there are the two cars that I picked. Of course, nothing else nothing else works there. Let's compare them. Speed, 6555. A little bit better handling for the Vauxhall. Way better acceleration. I don't know, man. This is rough. The launch is crazy. I tell you what. I'm going to go with the Vauxhall course. So hopefully this does not bite me. This thing is fun. This thing is cool. Let's see if we can help our teammates by contributing <laughs> and not being a burden. Usually that's easy for us to do. Sometimes we win. Okay, so we've got a Mini, us, Land Rover. We have an F-Pace, another Mini. Were there three Minis? Oh, that Mini looks sick, dude. I don't even have a livery. I need to get a livery on this car. This car is actually pretty cool. So one, two, three Minis, yeah. Two countrymen, two countrymen, and a John Cooper works. What's a GP? Grand Prix? What? Oh man, this is a crazy one here. So nice launch. I feel like we have some traction. Now going into a turn, that might be a different story, but straight line, acceleration, grip, good to go. Oh, here comes somebody already. What is happening? This car feels very balanced. I am, I'm, I'm expecting it to just like go crazy and start sliding, but it's not, it's doing great. I'm getting nice 
subtle taps <laughs> from my teammates to uh, help me out, I guess. That's a bit aggressive, but it's fun. I see you guys want to win. Let's go to the front. Let's go to the top. Taking down Tristan. Something, I don't know if I wear them. <laughs> the way I'm wearing my headphones is making this super loud or if it's just this car, but turbo rallies be loud, I guess. Um, I am going to take it a little easy here. I'm going to let those guys go crazy. And I'm going to just try and keep Katya at bay. There we go. That's a little better. The 1.6 liter turbo rally just singing in my ear. I keep one headphone off just so I can like hear my own voice instead of pumping it back through my headset. Yeah, those guys have some pretty good builds, plus they're being really aggressive. I'm just trying not to mess up. I'm just, you know, slow and steady. We're catching, catching Tristan. Tristan has the rally X-Raid. I'd really like to take that third spot on the podium. About half the race left here. Oh, oh, and that's what I was talking about. Slow and steady, guys. Don't miss those checkpoints. Make sure you're doing everything you need. I don't know who that was. Who fell from grace. But they just let us get a podium spot, more than likely. trying to hang here this thing is really good a lot better than I thought it would be I don't know why it didn't show tires it feels like it has rally tires what a run see you Tristan there's no way I'm catching our first place guy and why would I want to they are contributing to the team let him go just in the distance there I caught a glimpse of them hitting a checkpoint flag so I'm sure they're doing well. This is a great build, great car here. Very happy. Very happy with the pick. I didn't know Vauxhall was UK. Actually, I guess I did. I get them confused with Holden and HSV. I'm not very worldly. Who is calling me? Leave me alone. I'm busy recording Forza Horizon 5 stuff. Tristan is still right there with the phone call ringing in my ear. I'm trying to bring this in here. Second place. It's a tough one. There we go. Okay. Woo. So I don't know who that was that screwed up, but maybe they made it back to third. It's possible. I think it was a mini, right? Yeah, there was a mini up there. I don't know which one. Yeah, I'll watch it when I edit it. But there you go. Second place, podium finish, 600 points. Just shy of our leader. Pretty easy race. Make sure you have a very well-mannered dirt car and there we go the winner so what are the odds we're going to get a circuit race here after that nice sprint pretty good yeah i forgot dirt races are scrambles if they're laps is this the slingshot this is Malehe. yep we should be able to do a slingshot maneuver here oh and we're starting first oh and there's asphalt i'm glad i picked this car i feel like we're gonna do well here all right Crazy launch. Got to pass all the Dravatars I can. Somehow. Aw, oh, come on. Get out of my way, you behemoth. All right, here we go. Slingshot. Already. Almost into first. Yes, into first. That is such a great move. Underrated. Don't use it if there's wall collision physics in your mode. Like online horizon racing. Or, but you can use it in the tour. Now, I am probably going to get blown by here with one of those guys that passed me early in the last race. But we'll see. 
we have a sprightly little voxel here. Maybe, maybe it can keep up the first place with the <laughs> with the addition of the slingshot. Oh no, there it is. Let's drag race. Can you do it? No, you can't. The turbo rally power. See, I don't want to make mistakes and get caught on like somebody's front porch steps, which is very, very likely to happen here in Mulehe. Don't ask me how I know, but I have been burned by that before, obviously. And I'm not really racing my compatriot here too hard. We're utterly destroying them. They only have 200 points, so, well, 300 now. Anyway, see if they do the slingshot. No slingshot. Interesting. I demonstrated it. Maybe they just don't want to. Yeah, I need to see if there's a really cool rally livery for this. Just, you know, some really cool race car livery. You can just keep it gas pedal all the way down and steer and, well, at least back there we could. Steer and e-brake. That was fun. Just kind of drifting it around. Man, that guy just don't let up, huh? Mmm, okay. That's how it's going to be? That's fine. It'll be a little rough and rowdy. Isn't it? Hit him with the Mo Power, baby. Four wheel drift into the wall. He goes the other side. It's a barn burner, guys. Door to door. I think I can get him. I don't know. It's tough. I think they're racing very smart. They're the winner from last race. Nice slingshot into first. But I probably can't keep him at bay because I'm just too reckless and hit walls. You know? He has a better line through some of the sections. I don't know. Can we get this first place finish? I would I would bet money that we won't. Just by, you know, what I've seen happen. He's always passing me the last two laps. Right there at the start finish line, he's got me. Did I put it on him? Did he let up? What happened? Yes, he messed up. Somebody passed him. Oh no. I'd have lost money. Betting against myself. Well, there you go, guys. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Celebratory drifts. So much fun. Should I wait at the finish? And be that guy? Let's be that guy. Let's be toxic. <laughs> I ghosted out. I got nervous. There we go. First place finish. So we got a podium and then a first. This is amazing. Good job. Pat ourselves on the back. What a day. We got the Luka Doncic Jordan Camaro. We're driving it. We own it. It's amazing. We did great in the trial. Now we get an Evo 3. We don't care about the eye pace. We're not worried about that. Just send that to somebody in need. Okay. We don't care about that either. Doesn't matter. Guys, it's Mighty Morphin reward car time. I'm not even waiting. I'm not waiting. Here we go. This is awesome. Okay. Yes, I know. I just clicked that. Yeah, good job. All right. Down to Mitsubishi we go. And it's an Evo 3, so you got to go a little bit further back. Right by the Stereon. There it is. Now, in this car here, your full uh, early 90s rally car dreams can be realized. There's a ugly snorkel. There's some weird, there you go, Secret Service complete. There's some weird other rally stuff, whatever. But for me, I am a tuner in the sense of like, you know, early 2000s, Civics, whatever. We drove Civics, but we also raced Evos and Subarus and stuff in the game. So I would just like to make this, you know, slammed, really cool wheels, and just take advantage of that all-wheel drive or G63 turbo. 
Okay, here it is. We always have to start off a test drive with the wheel. Let's bring it up on power here. Nice. It feels a little sluggish. Big uh, pause there after you shift. Drops back about 1500 RPM. I'm sure you could change that with clutch, transmission, this, that, whatever. Your shift time will decrease. But right now, this is a really sporty, really sporty little car. Of course, the back end wants to fly around because I'm on the steering wheel. <laughs> it's it's so exaggerated, it's ridiculous. Okay, so let's take it on a dirt road. Oh, let's do a dirt launch. I want to see how it takes off in the dirt. All right, here we go. E-brake. Three and a half thousand, 3,300, somewhere around there. Great. See, this is what... This is what this car is really good for. Now it's going to be tough for me on the wheel. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's going to be much easier. It's going to be much easier on the controller, but let me see if I can just manage to get this thing around here. Got to be a lot easier with my inputs. The other day on Amazon, I've had it in my cart forever, but I finally just got one. I got one of the cheap, like whatever, Chinese made handbrakes. I'm gonna put it like right here. So that's gonna be fun. I do wanna get a shifter, but I think the handbrake's gonna be more fun. Even just for launches and, and whatever. My son has one, it's, we got it for him for his birthday, it's awesome. It really makes the setup, you know, like a real car. Or not even like a real car, more like a Ken Block car, you know, so that'll be cool. We'll get the, the, Unicorn out and you know you feel like you're doing real cool stuff but yeah there you go this Evo I like it in its current form I just kept driving it which does not happen too often let's go see what modifications we can do real quick um, I do want to throw some wheels on let me just do that real quick I would like to have rally suspension but I kind of want like a street tuner as well I really like those wheels, but what size are we running? 15s? Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with a 17. 18s, I don't know if you guys were in the scene back then, but 18s were just, people would do it, but they were too much. Unless your car was a little bit bigger, on a Civic, 18s are too big, way too big. So we'll stance these out a good bit. There we go. Oh, it's it's looking it's looking so good, guys. I like the OZ wheels. They're great for rally. I might go back to them at some point. But let's get some either works. Look how much better that looks. And those that color sucks. Oh man, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, let's throw these on. The classic work wheels. Really goes with that color really goes with the paint well. The paint is so shiny. Looking way better. Let's go to the body modifications. So as you can see, we get stuff like this. And this is supposed to deflect water from like a Dakar rally or Canyon rally or something. I don't know. So if you wanted to. You could step up to like a splitter in canards, make it more racer boy. So that's our only option. Um, we can get a stupid Forza wing or we could completely delete it. I think we're going to keep that the opposite of stolen valor. Um, leave the wing that's supposed to be on your car on your car instead of putting it on a crappy one, right? Look at the diff. The diff looks not very rendered down there. Anyway, I'm going to put mud flaps on because some guys do that. It, it fits the style for me. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it just had pins. Never mind. <laughs> There's the snorkel. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, if you put all that other rally stuff on, which maybe if I can get another one. Recaros. Look at the Recaros in there. Maybe if I can get another one, I would do it and make it look like a, a rally one. But is that like Kevlar? Carbon Kevlar? Yeah, interesting. Um, I guess I'll throw the hood pin. No, wait. We get a roof scoop. Ooh, do I want that? I don't think I want that. Okay. No hood pins and roof scoop for me. Um, as far as the engine conversions go, we get a V8, an RB, and a turbo rally. I think the turbo rally would be something if you want to just go insane power level. You could do that. 
I'm not going to do that. I like the engine that's in it. Um, like I said here, clutch for shift times. I mean, that's a crazy... That's only a tenth of a second, but I don't know. Seems like it would be awesome. Let's go ahead and do the obligatory stuff people would do back in the day. Intake. Exhaust. So for this one, I've been doing this lately. If I'm making a car just for me, I look at how it sounds. I think this one sounds the best. The stock exhaust sounds the best. I know that's weird, but listen. And then here's the one with 20 extra horsepower. You lose all the, I don't know, all the anger. Let's give it a bunch of fuel, good spark, and a big turbo, cause you know, that's what people do. Big intercooler and oil cooling, whatever. Lighten flywheel slightly. There we go. I should have put a different clutch in, but it's okay. We haven't got to that point yet. So let's go see how this thing does now that we've changed it up a little bit. And I want to go to the test track, but not actually the test track, just, you know, on this course here. Three, two, one. Oh, it's feeling good. Those shifts are still slow. Not too bad, actually. Let's see how much boost we're running. 40 pounds of boost on that huge turbo. I hope we have ARP head studs. 40 pounds of boost, 500 horsepower, just shy. I would say count it. Definitely count it. I I missed my exit because I'm just flooring it. <laughs> but yeah, this thing, this thing is sick. A great reward car. I really like it. And I think it's cool. You could do, uh, you could do rally or you could make it look like this. Make it a little street racer. Run some street scene events. Take down some Subies, some 22Bs, whatever. Super cool look to it. The thing, that's the thing. You don't see a lot of these Evos. I don't think, you know, people imported a lot of them. I don't think they were sold here. You could maybe do like a Mirage conversion. I don't know. I'm not too versed in all the Mitsubishi stuff, but there you go. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for tuning in, sticking with me, going through all the stuff we had to do today. Tomorrow, we will have the PR Stunt Speed Run for PR Stunts. We're going to try and get them done as quickly as possible. And what is the thing? Mitsubishi A800. Okay. Pretty cool. And then on Sunday, we're going to have the Event Lab Showdown. I'm going to bring two. They gave us one, and we'll see which one is the best. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.